Monitor aims to be a narrative-driven game which follows the main character known as the Journalist, a silent protagonist whom is placed in a room to listen to the inhabitants of a getaway retreat known as the Lynx's Crown. The main goal of creating the game was to provide a narrative that keeps the player actively engaged and could branch into four endings, if they act upon certain elements of the story. The story follows CEO Emilio Bell of Dolos Pharmaceuticals, as he invites four other characters. Katie Dreyfus, a head researcher who works for Emilio with her own agenda. You, but I guess you can't remember. Thank God. John Wafer Walker, an old friend of the Bell family. Ah, your uncle's being a dick, but that's not unusual. Lana Remley, the wild child niece of Emilio and sole heir to the Dolos fortune. So, here I am. Alone. And finally, Albert Greaves, a new person in Emilio's life whom can provide something that can change the world. Hmm. It seemed a crazy night yesterday. Did you manage to clean up after us? Six monitors with corresponding rooms provide real-time narrative and story, with two or more running plots happening at any given time. A monitor will show a spectrometer to show that someone or something is happening in the room. The player can click this, and they will be instantly transported to the screen to listen to what is happening. Each screen shows the overall layout of each room, with the subtitle system working on the left hand side and a detective section in the top right. This allows the player to understand whom is in the room easily and begin to piece together which character is there. The time is also shown in the bottom right at all times. Also at certain points in the game, monitor screens can break and these can be inaccessible for periods of time. This can only be fixed once per day, but the payoff may be that there is something major happening in the room or it could be that nothing is happening at all. The player is tasked with listening to the unfolding story but is told to not physically act on anything they hear over three days of game time. This amounts to an hour and a half of real-time gameplay. The consequences of doing so can amount to a new ending or even worse if the player has heard something particularly bad. So for example, upon hearing the fact that Emilio Bell could die due to the actions of Albert Greaves, the player is allowed to act upon this by using the telephone in the monitor room. However, if the player gets to the phone and then changes their mind, this drastically changes the ending to pretty much every character in the Lynx's crown getting killed. If the player had acted and stopped this from happening, maybe the consequences could have been less dire? It's with this idea, the way to get to the endings of Monitor are not as simple as just listening to the conversations within the game. Actually exploring the room rewards players accordingly. Certain endings can be attained by finding objects and understanding the overall narrative lore to the game. An events board is located here which can be clicked and the player can look at what has been learned within the game, both in the monitors and within the physical room. There is also a log which displays the details of the main characters within the game. Listen, learn, but do you act?